Hello, hello, guys. My name is Anna, and I'm from Georgia, and I'm a woman fitness master and professional chess coach. So, in this position, um, <laughs> in this video, sorry, <laughs> in this video, we will talk about the pillar defense, which is like um really solid, interesting opening, and um. It's kind of old opening, but nowadays it's still popular and a lot of people place it and um, it's interesting opening. Um, so, first of all, what is the Philidor's defense? It's also open opening, so we talk about open openings. e4, e5, knight f3, uh, d6. This is the Philidor defense. Well, idea of that move is that okay, I'm just I'm just gonna protect my pawn with another pawn. I'll have solid, strong center with my pawns, and I'm okay with that. The small problem of this move, which is sometimes not even the problem, but um, it's it let's say it blocks the bishop, right? Um, there is a lot of other openings too where like a black blocks the bishop, so it's not that big deal if then you have other alternative for the bishop and actually blocking the bishop at the opening stage sometimes it's okay than if you have like a good way to still develop it right well defense from the opening uh for example we also know the white have the call system which is really interesting yeah it blocks the bishop but there is a lot of other interesting play Right, you can try to do the fianchetto and open the diagonal, and you bishop this way, or then like you just played it for this point, and then you're just developing the fit pieces and try to do e4 push and uh, um, then still open it. So it's like um, um, anyways, like blocking the bishop at the early opening stage, it's can be not that bad how people think, but defense how we will block it because. Sometimes uh, it just gets too blocked and then we can't use it. Uh, and there is no other options for the bishop. So it depends from the position. Um, so now what to do against this? For white, um, well, here is a couple of options. The main move is the d4 push to push the d4. Um, here is also the bishop c4 move, which is logical. And knight c3, both are logical moves, developing moves, good moves. And why not, right? Um, after um, after developing, uh, okay. So those are like a, again more peaceful lines where you just develop castle, then you push your central pawn either d4, d3. So it's just standard development idea, and just to just like develop pieces. D4 is the main move, which like uh, makes sense. Uh, white tries to get more space and more territory in the center and like um, attack the center, let's say. And uh, black now have a couple of options. First is to take, of course. The second is the knight d7 to protect the e5 pawn. Um, a third is to play... Um, on knight f6 which is um in my opinion um it's not a good like other lines and here is also the bishop g4 which is not good and uh, well let's say it's not a mistake but let's say it's inaccuracy and i will tell you guys what why and there is also a really good a pawn morphy's game which is called the opera game and i will show you a little bit how pawn morphy will punish this move so let's talk about the um, first if black takes, right? It's logical. It's uh, central pawn and black takes. Well, we take back and then opponent develops the pieces. Well, it's always attacks our central pawn. So when de opponent develops the knight on f6, we should be careful to not lose our pawn. So knight c3, we are protecting. And this is like a um, standard developing position where both, both sides develops and here black have the knight c6 they have h6 i don't know it's like a 
something to just develop the pieces. Actually, there is also interesting line when the black takes takes and with d5 it will make the fork and take the piece back. And it's really symmetrical, interesting, okay position from boss perspective. And uh, also for white like ideas, okay, I'll just develop, develop, bring my rooks, bring everything. And yeah, this is how it looks like. It's really a little bit similar to scotch game. It gets a little bit similar to scotch game. We will also talk about the scotch game, which is really, really interesting opening. Um, and um, and yeah, uh, if the black will play knight d7, this have the really interesting background. This move, idea of black is to when you take only five, they want to exchange the queens. And if you ever saw guys the this queen exchange end game, which is like a Happens a lot uh, in the Philidor defense positions. And let's say something about this position. First of all, Black King is in the center, as we see. Um, and uh, they don't have castle. But because it's already end game position, that's not hurts that much it's as it could hurt in the middle game position. But still, like a Black should be careful because even if it's end game, there is still a lot of pieces on the board. So for king to stay in the middle can be sa not safe and it can be dangerous. Uh, mostly to have king in the middle in end games, uh, it's better when there is less pieces on the board. And now, yeah, it's end game, but there is like almost everything on the board except queens, right? So it can be still dangerous for king to be there. But if black plays correctly, they can avoid those dangerous stuff, let's say. So... Um, in this position, what is the white's plan? Well, white's plan is to develop the bishop and also threatening the king and attack the king. Why not? And for black, um, at this point, the idea is to mostly to hide the king on the c7, mostly, and to just, just play the end game where they have great chances to get the equal position. Right? So, um, uh, this is how it looks like. And the F-pawn is hanging. Black also have F5 move here, which is interesting. And, uh, like, I really want to, like, talk about those positions more. But again, uh, I already said those opening moves and opening courses where I'm recording right now, it's not for the, like, let's say, big lines and big positions and to analyze the most deeper way, let's say. Because it's like a, it's just like a, instruction what can possibly happen after if this 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 happens right so we will not go that deeper maybe then also guys tell me in the comment if you guys prefer to have like a bigger um videos like 20 minutes 30 minutes videos where you can like uh, talk about more moves and like uh at least discuss 10 12 15 moves please write down below and um we can do it why not uh but like like i said now i will not talk about more and let's go and jump to another move which is bishop g4 and i also mentioned the polymorphous um uh, polymorphous game which is after bishop g4 so here's the thing after bishop g4 white takes only five so black in the Paul Morphy's game, which is called Opera Game, because it was played in the Opera Building, Francais in France, um, Opera Building, and that's why we call it Opera Game. Um, and in the game, after Paul Morphy took the central pawn, Black played the bishop f3. Uh, because if they take only five, White first exchanges the queens to get rid of the pin, and then takes only five. And white got the pawn, they have extra pawn, those both pieces are under attack. Again, to having the king in the center, in this case, can be even more problem because there is even more pieces on the board. Again, in the end game, we mostly centralize our king, and it's good to have king in the center. But, defense from that game position. This is end game where only queens are missing, and that's why it's end game, right? But there's still a lot of pieces on the board, and it can be still really dangerous to have king in the center. 
Why it's dangerous to have the king in the center? Why we always try to castle? Because the main fight from the beginning happens on the central lines and in the central squares, right? So central lines get open faster than side lane lines. So that's why having the king in the center in the open openings, it's like a uh, to sitting on a dynamite. Like anytime your king can get open and you can get attacked and you can lose the game. So that's why when it's the open position, those central files gets open faster than other lines because from the beginning, everything happens in the center, exchanges and other things. So that's why we want to castle. And when we castle, we are like keeping our king, for example, distance from uh, those things. And uh, again, it's like a side lanes gets not that open, at least fast. So yeah. Um, so that's why after D takes C for black D not works because they will end up like losing the pawn and also with the bad position. So black decided, okay, let's take the knight and then let's take the pawn. And black was sure it was nothing wrong about this position, but this is really interesting. This is already bad position for black. The question is why? Because black don't had any mistake, right? They had mistake. And their mistake was to lose the tempo. And I will tell you what was their mistake. Why they will the bishop in c4? Okay, let's look at this position. First of all, white already have the small advantage from the beginning, right? Because they start first. Because they have the one extra tempo, right? Black is already down with the one tempo. And with that bishop trade, black lost the second tempo. And now black is down with the two tempos, and that's why white have the two developed pieces. Black have zero developed pieces. I'm not talking about the pawns pieces. Um, where they lost the tempo? Good question. They did nothing wrong, right? The the the, the place where they lost the tempo in this bishop g4 line was they spent two moves, two moves to trade with the bishop, right? And they traded this bishop to the knight, and we only played that knight once. So technically, we played only one move, uh, one time with our knight, and we trade that knight into the bishop, which was played already twice. So that's why white got the temple, because in this case, they developed the queen, and black exchanged the bishop. They spent two moves for exchange, and our knight only spent one move. So... Uh, Black lost the second tempo. And losing the two tempos in the open position can be a problem because as you see guys already, it's the checkmate threat. White already have two developed piece and it's already checkmate threat. So black colored it to the knight and then pawn Morphy played the queen b3 and attacking the boss pawns. And this is already way better position for white because black can't protect them both. Um, actually, when we will uh, talk about the games and when we analyze the games, I'll show you guys that Paul Murphy game uh, till the end and I will also explain what is happening and how it was played and stuff. Uh, but um, let's stop here because position is already way better. And it only happened because why? Black wasted the extra tempo and opening. It's, it's really interesting, right? Because technically almost Black did nothing wrong, but even losing the time, losing the tempo can be the problem. What is the tempo? Tempo is the time, right? When we play with the same pieces two times or three times, we take that time from other pieces. For example, if I understand that I need to develop knight, develop bishop, castle, develop other side knight, other side bishop, but, for example, but I only like a played with my knight three times with the same knight, all other pieces are not developed. So this my knight, which I played three times, took all the moves from other pieces. And that's why other pieces are watching and they're not developed. So uh, this tempo factor is really important and especially at the early stage of the game. Uh, and um, mm, But we will also uh, talk about that topic and discuss it after we will like uh, do some couple of opening videos. Um, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If there is any questions, any recommendations, you can write down below in the comments and I will definitely check it. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and see you next time. Bye bye.